And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, Suspense is dedicated to the crusade for freedom. It is a true story in which it has been necessary to change the names of all principal participants in order that their survivors still imprisoned may live. So now, starring Charlotte Lawrence and Sam Edwards, here is tonight's Suspense play, Listen, Young Lovers. was in Czechoslovakia a year ago, a high vaulted room in a prison's turret, the city of Prague. There was a boy named Jinrich, and he was 21, and until this morning he'd been a student at the communist-controlled university, and now he faced his inquisitors. Go to the window, Jinrich. Go on, Jinrich. Go to the window. Now, down there, do you see the automobiles? The automobiles. Do you see them? Henrik? Henrik? Yes. Yes, I see them. And the people? Yes. And the building of the Ministry of War? Yes. Therefore, they exist, because you see them. You understand, Henrik? Please. Yes, what is it? Comrades. Of course, we are all comrades, Yenrik. This comrade, for example. Yes. You see his medals. Certainly, because they exist. And his sword. Yes. His head. Yes. His mind. Comrade, his mind. Or this comrade's mind. Or this... <laughs> oh, you should not have hit Yenrik, comrade. He... Comrade Stefan. Yes. And... Why does he look out the window now? What is he searching for? <laughs> Shall we have you shot, Yenrik, or is expulsion enough? What do you think, comrades? Shoot him. What was the book you were caught with, Yenrik? Varieties of Religious Experiences by Henry James. Western philosophy? Have him shot. Shoot him, have him shot, blood and blood and blood. Yenrik... Yes. To kill you would be to fail. You are clever. You think. Therefore, if you are clever for us, thought for us, we could win. Therefore, oh, did either of you comrades have a thing to say? Good. Therefore, Yenrik, for us to win you, the West will have lost you. Therefore, a victory for us, for communism. So go home. Go home and purge your mind. In about a day, I think, come to me and say to me... I am ready. Teach me to think. Teach me what you want me to know. Go home, Yenrik. And for this they expelled you? For daring to read, for daring to think, to taste of a knowledge For that... this, Malata. But you are a student. <laughs> student and violator. Scholar and heretic, sinner who stood before his inquisitors and... You should have seen their faces, Malata. No. No, not gentle Malata. No beautiful Malata. No child Malata. Yenrik? Yes? This that they have done to you? Yes. After it will come arrest and torture and imprisonment... And the labor camp. Melada. And death. As it came to Miklos, who was also a student, who also read of alien philosophies, who also tasted Milada. of death. death. Stop it. It will not be so. It will not. You must go away from here. I will not leave you, Melada. You must. You must. Listen to me. <laughs> Only to my voice. And to nothing else. Not to fear, nor to horror, nor to the madness around us. Only to me. I love you, and I will not go from you. And we will marry as we had planned. 
When you've finished your studies. I you... will find something else to do here. Not a student, laborer then. Or shopkeeper, or beggar. There will be something else. We will make a life. Out of what? Out of terror, out of darkness, out no of... No more. Fear... We speak of it no more, Malata. What time is it? It is almost the hour. Turn on the radio, then. Turn it lower. Yenrik? Yes? Come here to me. Close to me. Sit with me. Watch the fall of night. And hold me. Melada. Gentle Melada. of Free Czechoslovakia and the voice of Radio Free Europe bringing you the news of the free world bringing you the knowledge that you are not forgotten and the hope of your future liberation the voice now of Free Czechoslovakia this is Password Little Garden dear mother we know these are the worst times you have ever lived through but you must believe that one day we will see you again this is Password Hephaistos, calling my friends from the Krumlov area. The border crossing was hard and exhausting, but it was a success. Now I am well, and I see true freedom. Tonight, as we promised, we are going to tell you about the Free Europe College in Strasbourg. Like Radio Free Europe, the college is maintained by the voluntary contributions of the American people. It is for students who have escaped from the Soviet orbit from Soviet tyranny, from Soviet terror. You hear, Henry? For students who you have fled across say? the border yes. and come to Germany. Yes. Where they have found a climate of freedom and of learning. Henrik, why have you turned it off wash? I thought I heard a step on the stairs in the hall. Yes, I did hear. Turn on the light, Malata, quickly. Well, perhaps it is only the man who lives up... Stepan. Uh, Comrade Stepan, who was walking the streets in loneliness and in regret, and who thought to call on a friend, on a comrade. May I? Come in. You know Malara. Of course. You brought her once to the university, and her sweet young face made such an impression amongst us. We talked of it, of you, of your lovely fiancée, Malara. Why are you here? I told you. It was a night of loneliness and of regret. Oh, how harsh we were with him, Malada, with your love. How uh, almost brutal, what savage blows we struck against his sensitive brain. And I became concerned for him. I became... <laughs> but sure, young man, a man of intellect, of perception. And see him, see his face. How he knows I lie. How he knows I have no concern for him, nor pity, nor rage. But you, Malada, you have such emotions for him, and love also. Then tell him, convince him, take his hand, and lead him back to us with your young love. For this, that, that one day and soon your gentle arms will not have to cradle his corpse. Tomorrow, Yenrik, and we will welcome you back with such warmth and joy. Good night, Yenrik. Malada. Yenrik. Yenrik. Yes? What was said on the radio. The Free Europe College in Strasbourg. For those who escape... I cannot. You must. You will. Not without you. Then with me. If not alone, with me. It is 300 miles... 300 miles of guards and border patrols, informers and dogs, wilderness, hunger, hiding. With me, with me, Yenrik. Yes. Yes, but it must be now, immediately now. Get your coat, a scarf for your hair. If you have candy bars. Yes. Quickly, Malata, quick. Yes, yes. My scarf. 
My coat, candy bars, and this. Take it, Yenrik. What is it? The same that I have for myself. A small bottle of liquid, of poison that is kept here for insects and vermin. Lara. If we are caught, we will drink it. Together we will drink it. And this way they will never separate us. This way we need never leave each other. Yes. A thing they had talked about for a long time now decided. But how to get to freedom? No passports, so they dare not trust trains nor other public conveyances. Nothing but their feet to carry them. Two sweethearts out for a casual stroll. So they walked. Prague to Kladno. Across the Vltava River, swollen by spring rains. To Kraslice, and close to the border now. Lonely paths through the mountain roads and across fields. To the young lovers, almost a pleasant adventure. Almost. Run! Run! (laughs) Quickly, in! I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Don't talk. See, they're near the wall. The straw. We will rest. Now go home. Back to the house, son. When the colt will be born, I will no, call please. you and you will name it. No move. Not yet, friend of mine. And what shall we name your colt? My son wants to know. Ludmilla? And if a stallion, shall we name him? Out! Out! Or with this pitchfork? <laughs> Let me look at you. Step closer to the light. Uh, two of you. Two of you now. We're not thieves. No. Truly, we're not thieves. Then what? Hikers. Throw down your papers then, so I'll know it. Well? There are no papers. Refugees? Yes. From what? Terror. The government of Czechoslovakia? Yes. I throw down the pitchfork. For whatever symbol you wish to make of it, I am your friend. Oh, Oh, great. Hush, hush. Now, listen to me. Yes. Sleep. And at dawn, I'll wake you with directions to the border which is nearby. And there is a guard I know who is there. And I will send you to him, and he is a friend. And he will show you how to get into Germany. I envy your courage. Raise your arms over your heads. Henrik. Do not fear. You are Radek, the guard? I am Radek. Come forward. And you are the two who slept in my friend's barn. The pretty young girl and her young man. The refugees. Yes. He said you would be our friend. Radek, show us how we could get into Germany. And for this we are... You are what? Grateful. Because he was kind, as you are kind. And the final act of kindness. You are under arrest. No. Yes, I say it. You are under arrest. You are listening to Listen, Young Lovers. Tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. For 70 million captive people in Soviet satellite Europe, the only source of truth is news from the outside world. The powerful, dependable, truthful broadcasts of Radio Free Europe keep this lifeline open. Sponsor a minute of truth behind the Iron Curtain. Radio Free Europe broadcasts up to 20 hours of truth a day to Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Romania, Hungary, and Poland. 70 million people in the Soviet satellite countries who once knew and loved freedom are depending on you. 
Send your truth dollars to Crusade for Freedom in care of your local postmaster. Remember, truth is what the Kremlin fears most. Help wield the free world's strongest weapon. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Sam Edwards and Charlotte Lawrence starring in tonight's production Listen, Young Lovers, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Betrayal, escape to freedom, which was a thing of loneliness and of sobbing and of storm, halted now and betrayed, made futile by a man who had given them a night's sleep in his barn and spoke gently of refugees and of courage and of help to be had from his friend, the guard. And while they slept, informed to the man of the automatic rifle who stood guard on the Czech-German border, who was communist, who was called Radic. Lambs, lost little lambs, to have huddled in his barn from the storm, to have believed in such as him, to come so innocent to the slaughter, to Radek. And you would kill... You, if you try something. Her, her with a pretty young face. Not her, perhaps, if a tear fell on such soft cheek. Come, move, move. Where do you take us? To the hut there, where there is phone, where I call the proper authorities, tell them Radek has snared two more. Radek. Radek. Hmm? How you say my name, and without fright? The thing you said. What thing? That you would kill him. If he wants it, if he must pretend to you he is a hero. He is no hero. Good. Not a hero. Something else. Milana. Something else you are. Coward and traitor. Student who is superior to all around him. And arrogant and looks down upon those around him. <laughs> upon you, little one. Upon such prettiness as you. Pretty one. Yenrik. Uh! Run, Milana, Run! <laughs> The trick and run, run across the border into eastern Germany and keep running. And behind them, the shouts of clamor and the braying of dogs. And like animals hide, run again into darkness. And under the shield of night, exhausted sleep. Dawn then, and the highlands of eastern Germany to walk and the forests of Bomerwald. Dangerous to walk the roads because they spoke no German, therefore easily recognized as foreigners, easily arrested. And not dare ask for food, but walk where wilderness is, wander the bogs of Thuringerwald, and dig for food. Jenrik, I have found another. Good. We will have a feast. Uh, here, Melara, under the tree. <laughs> Shelter, warmth, food, and with my love. What more to ask? Freedom. Eat. I do not want to eat. You must. <laughs> These berries, and garnished with roots. And after, we will hunt for... Quite close to the ground. Very close, and do not utter a sound. Breathe into the earth. Ah, Kaninchen. Kleine wilde Kaninchen aus dem Wald. Und ich bin der Jäger und ich habe euch gefunden und gefangen. Steht auf. Auf! Und ich töte euch. We are refugees. We are not dangerous. Ah? The sprechen. The wilde Kaninchen. He doesn't sprechen. understand us, Melara. <laughs> and his look, as if he were mad. But his pistol, he holds it so close to your face, he will kill you, he will. Ich habe euch vom Wald aus beobachtet. What? I <laughs> do not... Essen gerade. Essen. So. 
Hungry. Oh, he is hungry. The signs he makes. Give them to him. Give him the roots and the berries. Oh, uh, uh, take them. Nein. Please take Nein. them. Oh, you are hungry. Take them. We will find others. Danke. Oh. Danke. <laughs> By now, they'd lost all track of time. Some days, they covered as much as 10 or 15 miles. Other days, they knew they were lost and had to retrace their steps. And always, there was the hunger. And always, the feeling somehow that the trip would never end. I, I can't go on. I can't. I can't. Milada. I can't. I can't. Milada. You go. You, you can make it. No. No, Listen. What? Listen. Can you hear it? A car. We must be near a highway. We'll ask someone for a ride. Yes. No. But we... No. Suppose it is a communist who stops for us. Immediately there will be questions and... and... there are always the bottles, Milada. The bottles of poison. We'll die together and that will be our victory. Yes. Then come. Henrik? Yes. Pray. Yes. Was there ever such a prayer? That a vehicle should come by? That the driver of the vehicle be not a communist? That the driver be not a communist? Hello. Hello. Uh, please, will you give us a ride? Oh, Sie sprechen nicht Deutsch? Uh, nein, we don't speak German, we're Czech. Kinder, children, get into the wagon, quickly, the car is coming. Get down on the floor. The car approaching has a spotlight, it's a patrol car. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> Over there. You see it? The bridge? Yes. Now is the best time to cross it. Dawn. We don't know how to thank you. Driving all night. Oh, no. It is I who should thank you. To give me the opportunity to help Hindle whatever flame of protest. Now, listen, children. Take advantage of the trees along the road. Go from one to the other. Then the bridge. Then the American zone. And then freedom. God bless you both and be at your side. Halahi! Halahi! Quickly now, across the road. Now, as the woman said, from tree to tree. Yes. All right. Yes. Now. Look. Look at the bridge. Guards. Two guards. Russians. Walking their post. And across the bridge is freedom. Across the bridge is life. Yes. While the guards are walking away. Yes. <laughs> Milada, get up quickly before the guards see us. My ankle. I turn. I'll it. help you. Arm around my shoulder. Oh, I can't. I must have broken it. Uh, the Russian guards. They've seen us. Henry. <laughs> Run, beloved, run! Not without you. Leave me. The bottle. Leave me. I will drink of mine. Oh, beloved, beloved. <laughs> no separation, no torture. Yes, and I will drink of mine. We are stolen you. We'll jump you some noise. Hey, hey, what's happened here? What's the matter? Two young people. Too much whiskey. What do you think, Sarge? They're on our side of the bridge. Please. We'll take care of them. But they are our people. Our they... side of the bridge, Commissar. See the marker? Our side. But they you have help to... the girl, Nolan. I'll take care of the guy. But Knock I... Knock it off, Jack. Our side of the bridge. They belong to us. What's the matter, sis? <laughs> Too much of the boot? Poison. What? Poison. Sarge, yeah. Poison, she said. Yeah, yeah. The guy, too. Come on, let's get a move on.
Radio Free Europe, brought to you by your friends in America. The voice now of Free Czechoslovakia. This is Password Greenbauer, calling our friends in the area of Prague. My friend and I have married. We attend now the Free Europe College in Strasbourg. Students who escape the Russian orbit are welcome here. We wait for you with open arms. There is freedom here, and the teaching of ideas, free ideas for which millions have been and are still ready to die. I hold out my hand to all of you. And this is Password Traviata, calling Yelava region. Greetings and remembrances to all our dear friends. We wait for you. We greet you from a free world. Suspense, in which Charlotte Lawrence and Sam Edwards starred in tonight's presentation of Listen, Young Lovers. Next week, a story of a ghost town and a practical joke that wasn't. We call it Hollywood Hostages. That's next week on Suspense. is produced and directed in Hollywood by Anthony Ellis. Listen, Young Lovers was adapted for suspense by Morton Fine and David Friedkin from the report of David Camelon. The music was composed by Lucian Morawieck and Rene Garrigan and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Featured in the cast were Edith Angold, Victor Perrin, Frank Goss, Joseph Kearns, Jim Nusser, Herb Butterfield, Lou Merrill, Jack Crucian, Leonard Weinrib, and Joe Cranston. You can find in your favorite newspaper full factual accounts of happenings from all over the world. But no such service waits for the 70 million captive people behind the Iron Curtain. Their papers, like their rulers, are puppets, top-heavy with red propaganda and distortions. To learn the truth, these people look to free Europe press coming in by balloon from the outside world. You can help spread this truth and help these captive millions who once knew freedom. Send your truth dollars for Free Europe Press to Crusade for Freedom in care of your local postmaster. Stay tuned for five minutes of CBS News to be followed on most of these same stations by The Jack Carson Show. The Radio Workshop presents the new and unusual Friday nights on the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>